The second date SMS. So this is something you can send somebody to guarantee to get a second date when you're hanging out with them. And this will stop you ever getting ghosted ever again. Now, the key to this text message is not what you send, but when you send it. Typically, when you're on a date with somebody, you're having a first date and it's going pretty good, you want to um, make sure that you secure the second date before the end of the first one. But some people get nervous or they don't really know how to do it. What I find is an amazing thing to do is to, it's kind of weird, but use the restroom. I know it sounds strange, but bear with me. At some point during a date, one of you has to use the restroom. You know, they have to go powder their nose, you have to go and pee, whatever the situation is. And what I'll do is I'll go to the restroom and then I'll text them while I'm in the restroom to set up the next date. So here's what I'll often say. During the date, I'll have learned the things they like to do, right? So we know whether they like activities, if they like uh, escape rooms, mini golf, art galleries, concerts, botanical gardens, horse riding, whatever it is that they like, I'm gonna identify it. And then while I'm peeing, I'm gonna text them and be like, hey, you know what, I've had a lot of fun today, just wanna let you know. And they'll often reply, oh my God, are you texting me from the restroom? Now I wanna do this because what kind of person texts you from the restroom? That's right, your boyfriend. It's once you're in a relationship that you start texting in these more intimate environments. Once again, if we want a relationship to turn into a relationship, you gotta act like it's one from the very beginning. So I'll be like, ha ha yeah, uh, I'm just bored waiting to, you know, to use the restroom or something like that. Um, and I thought I'd text you, but seriously, it's a lot of fun. We want confirmation they're having fun. If they're not having fun, then the second date is never gonna happen anyway. But if they're like, yeah, I am having fun, it's good. This is when I'll start setting up the next date. So I'll say, well, have you ever wanted to try or how about we try next time and I'll put what the event is, like whatever it is. How about next time we try mini golf? Or how about next time we try a movie? Or how about next time we try an escape room, whatever it is. And that is it. That's the only message that I need to send. So it's just two quick messages while I'm in the restroom. The first one's gonna be, um, hey, this is, uh, I've had so much fun. Uh, how about you? Or hey, I've really enjoyed this. Just wanna let you know. And then they're gonna be like, oh yeah, it was great. And then you're gonna be like, hey, um, how about next time we try, right? So pretty simple, two text messages while you're in the restroom. It's more than enough time uh, to send those two messages. But now when you come back from the restroom, the conversation's already set up for the second date. You've already agreed that you're gonna go on a second date. And I guarantee you that when you turn back up, the whole interaction is that much warmer because you now know there's gonna be a second date. And then when you turn up, you're like, okay, cool. Um, I love the idea of doing that. And then you can then work out the logistics right then and there. By doing it off the back of that restroom trip, like I said, it's the kind of thing that someone do if they're actually dating somebody and it's much more likely uh, to happen. And if you set up the second date while you're on the first date, um, in the middle of it, like I said, during that restroom period, that's when you're gonna get somebody to say yes. So there you have it. That works incredibly well. Give it a try on your next first date and I guarantee you, you're gonna see a lot less uh, flakes for the second dates. Thanks for watching the video. I've got a very special gift that I'd like to give you as a way of saying thank you for taking the time to enjoy this content. This is a ebook that you can get completely for free by looking in the description of this video. Once you download it, it will actually break down the core natural qualities that make somebody so attractive that women chase you. So go there, click on the link in the description and grab that ebook now.